Join? Are you gonna join? You wanna sit with me? Where's Dexter? Where's Dexter? Dexter! Here he is! <gasps> you gonna say hi to everyone? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have been so quiet on YouTube and to be honest it's because I've been so tired and I haven't really been doing anything besides like sleeping and trying not to barf. Uh, and now y'all know why. It's because I'm pregnant. I, it feels so weird to say that because I haven't really been, not many people knew. Um, you want to go down? Okay. Not many people knew and then even the people that did know like we weren't really talking about it because like we were trying to keep it a secret and all hush hush and whatever and then we actually posted on Sunday our announcement and yeah so I said I'd make this video because I've been getting tons of DMs people asking me and also messages on TikTok too people asking for like us finding out like family reactions like tons of questions so we're gonna address it here. I think I just burped. One of the main questions is how, like what what made me think that I was pregnant and I literally have no shame, so I will share. Um, I literally couldn't go to the bathroom for like a week. <laughs> it might be TMI, but genuinely that is how I knew something was up. Listen, I drink my coffee at like eight, seven, eight o'clock. By nine o'clock the latest, I do my morning business and everything is good in the hood, right? Well. That wasn't really happening for like a week and i was like something's up sis something is up so boom took a test and yeah so actually but like i said on my story too it's not like i just it wasn't even as simple as just taking a test because i took one and this was like a three-day affair that i was doing this because i took one um and it's crazy the week that i had like the week that i found out i had like a company training for my job um up in massachusetts so like i was getting up and like driving up there every morning and it, so I do have some footage of me like the first morning I took a test and I thought I saw something so I took a picture and I sent it to my friend Felicia who was also expecting and she was like yeah like I'm not sure like I don't want to get you excited but like I don't see anything and I was like yeah like it's probably nothing whatever so then I went out with my day went to the trading came home didn't say anything to Carl totally fine so but I still had those issues in the bathroom if you know what I mean so I was like all right so the next day I took another test and I saw a faint line. So this time I sent it again to my friend Felicia and I was like, I see something, it's a little bit darker. Dexter's literally peeing and making eye contact with me. <laughs> On the second day, I took the test and I did see a slight line this time. She saw it too. And then she actually like, went into like her one of her apps and like changed like the hue on the photo so like it made it pop more and then she was like yeah like i definitely think you are um and at that point i was like well crap because i was drinking like a venti iced coffee i <laughs> i was about to make like a ham omelet that morning and i'm like you can't really eat like deli meat when you're pregnant um although i cooked it so i'm sure it was fine um although there's still nitrates in it though yeah whatever so yeah so i slightly saw it but i still didn't say anything to carl so i called my best friend Lindsay, and she is like a kindergarten teacher and normally in the morning she's always like super flustered because like she's trying to get like her life together and the kids lives together so i literally call her she's in homeroom and i'm like yeah dude i think i'm pregnant and i'm like did i fluster you more and she's like oh my god yeah and it was just really funny she was happy but it was really funny um so at this point, they're the only two that know, but I still didn't want to tell Carl because I wasn't like 110% sure. So then on my lunch break, when I was up at the training, I actually went to Chick-fil-A bathroom and took a test. And that one was actually a little bit more visible, but still like my sister kind of like freaked me out because she told me so many times that like any blue dye test she said is like super unreliable and the pink ones were reliable. So I was like, okay, then this might not mean anything, whatever, went on with my day. Now let's go to day three. Day three, which I actually don't have footage for this, but I took a digital one finally, you know, because like I probably should have done that from the beginning because like I couldn't read the other ones that well and it said yes. So that is how I found out. Um, and then I ended up, I don't even have any footage of telling Carl. I do have footage like telling some of my family and some of my friends. Some of the footage I probably won't share just because it's like, very chaotic and I'm just not going to share that um but I didn't get footage telling Carl at all because what happened with him is I wasn't feeling good I was like super nauseous and like I just really wasn't feeling good and I was like Carl like I'm out of pregnancy test like I was honest I was like can you just take me to the pharmacy to get one and he was like just like go in the morning like whatever like it's fine and I'm like 
Carl, I'm like, the reason why, like, I've been, like, so moody is because my back hurts, I'm nauseous, and I'm bloated, and I think I'm pregnant. Meanwhile, we are driving in a car. We're driving to CVS at this point. And he's like, wait, really? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, cool. It's the most Carl reaction. And he's like, yeah, it's actually cool, because, like, I saw the other day my friend, like, went fishing with his son, and, like, that's cool. And I was like... The most Carl thing ever, but it was super cute. But so I didn't get it on tape because I was driving at the time. Um, but yeah, so that's how I told Carl that I was pregnant. So I'm actually gonna put in footage here of it's kind of like you know, like the three day, the course of three days that I found out I was pregnant, and somebody was with me. Someone was the first person to find out, right, buddy, that you're gonna be a big brother. He's not pleased, he doesn't really know what's happening. Although I take it back because you've been so sweet and napping with me like every day. Thank you. I have to find Jamar to hide these just in case it is positive. I don't want Carl to like come home and find it. So I don't know where I'm going to hide it though. Oh, I'm naked. I don't want to show the mirror. <laughs> Go with the good old bedside table with the electronics. Okay. It's just me and Dex all alone again. Room a mess. Carl is at work right now, but I just took another one. And I know y'all thought I was crazy because I said I saw something yesterday but look i feel like this is still not showing up but do you see that better i think it's positive i think i'm pregnant but i also like don't want to tell carl until i'm 100 percent sure um but what's funny is is for a tiktok i already bought the sneakers that i always planned on telling carl with so i bought carl like a pair of like the dad shoes the new balances so those actually arrived yesterday this is honestly perfect timing jeff bezos is really supporting this pregnancy already and i love that i'm so here for that do you care what's going on do you even understand what's going on i think you do well you're a good boy mommy loves you <gasps> mama's first baby <laughs> I didn't get super emotional, more so because I was, like, in shock. And I'm also not really an emotional person. Um, and neither is Carl, for that matter, either, honestly. We're, like, two in the same in that one. Um, two in the same? One in the same? I don't even know. What is the saying? You get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so that was finding out. That was telling Carl. I probably will do a separate video just on reactions. But now I figured, like, let's do a little catch-up with... I was about to say quarter one, trimester one. And I have some frequently asked questions as well. So let's get into it. The big question that I've been getting and that I got from even like people that I know is were you guys trying? And that is kind of like, is it called a threefold question? Multifold? What I, I don't, I don't know like what I'm, why can't I get these like acronyms or like sayings down today? I don't know what's happening like up here right now, but basically, were we trying? Yes and no. So I had actually been off, this is TMI, I had actually been off birth control for over a year. So I went off in March of 2021 and we had just kind of been using an app and like natural family planning for like the past year. Um, but we did actually have like a conversation in January and we were like, you know, like if it happens now, it happens. Like at this point in life, like we're ready. Like we have our house. Um, we're married at this point too. Um, and we're just in a really good place. So like if it happens, then so be it. Um, we're just not going to stop it, I guess, at this point. Um, but the ironic thing is, is that when we did get pregnant, going off of our app, we shouldn't have gotten pregnant. Buddy, it's a, it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. Hold on. He's about to freak out at the squirrel. Basically... In the app, it, like, told me, like, that, like, on the day that, like, we got pregnant, it said that there was, like, no chance of getting pregnant, and I wasn't actually ovulating for, like, another, like, four, five days. Um, so I didn't think that I was going to get pregnant, and which is kind of, like, why I was, like, we were surprised. Um, Carl, to be honest, I feel like is so, like, out of the loop on that stuff that, like, he didn't even really put two and two together. Um, but, yeah, that's why I was surprised, because the app said that there was literally no chance, and... It had honestly worked for like 11 months prior to that. So I really didn't question it. But I mean, I guess that's possible. It's literally just an app. It doesn't like have any of like your information, like your bodily information. It's just an estimate going off your schedule previously. So yeah. So to answer the question, were we trying? Not really. 
Uh, but we weren't preventing also, so like use your imagination. <laughs> Another big question is, are we going to find out the gender? Yes, we are gonna find out the gender. So I actually am going in for like some tests just because like I like have like a couple of weird things like with my blood that like, you know, just like genetic things I get from my family. So I'm going for a genetic testing and actually that test will tell us the gender of the baby. So I'm not actually gonna have to wait until like 19, 20 weeks on a scan. Um, so we are gonna find out and we will announce we're not gonna like gatekeep it i know some people like don't find out the gender some people find out the gender and then just like don't tell people i can't do that me and carl can't keep secrets we literally cannot keep secrets especially from our families i am so close to my parents and my sisters i wouldn't be able to keep a secret so we are gonna find out um and everyone also keeps asking if like what, what we think it is I, here's the thing. I have never been wrong when guessing other people, like other pregnant women's, like the gender of their babies. I got it right with my sister. I got it right with two of her close friends. I got it right with my orthodontist. I got it right like with absolutely, or was she the dental, she was a dental hygienist. I get it right with people all the time. Like I have never been wrong. And I know like that sounds like, like crazy. I mean, yeah, you only got a 50, 50 shot, but <laughs> I've never been wrong. So I have like a very strong feeling that it's a girl. Um, also too, just my family's luck. Uh, my parents, like my mom's only child, my dad only has one brother. And I've been saying for years, I think that my grandparents on my dad's side like did something years ago to piss someone off and they had like a hex put on them and no boys were ever gonna be born into the family again because my uncle went on to have three girls, my dad had three girls and my sister has one baby now and it's a girl. Like there has not been any boys in the family for like, almost 60 years <laughs> so I literally think that like we just can't have boys at this point um but also like I just I just have a feeling that it's a girl I watch it be a boy I don't know some people my one of my friends she thinks that I'm having a boy but she's also pregnant too and I don't know I don't know I don't know it's exciting I'd be happy with both Carl doesn't care either but I do want to know because I want to get the nursery like painted that's like one thing that I want to do we already picked like which guest room we're going to turn into a nursery and yeah it's blue right now so I just even if it was a boy I kind of want to change it anyway to like yellow or white or something um but yeah so I do want to find out we are going to find out and we have like a really exciting way planned to like announce on like social media and to like tell our friends and things so be on the lookout for that i will be posting about that when it's time but so yeah so my blood work literally isn't for like another i just got the call when is it oh it's not for like a, it's literally not for four weeks so yeah and then to round out the video let's do like a little like catching y'all up to date let me like fix this i don't know like what you guys are going to be able to see i'm also not wearing pants that's why i have this blanket because i'm like wearing granny panties and listen i put makeup on today i put a little bit of makeup on that's like the most you guys are gonna get from me okay um but so i am 11 weeks as of so i'm posting this when am i posting this I don't know whenever I get it edited but I'm 11 weeks pregnant and I have another appointment for another ultrasound in like two and a half weeks I think um but yeah so I'm 11 weeks pregnant and we had an appointment last week which is where we got the photos that we shared in the announcement I did have one ultrasound previous to that um just to like make sure that like everything was good in the hood um <laughs> And yeah, but so it was really cool at the last uh, appointment. I could actually see, I almost said her, uh, we could see their heartbeat like moving and it was really, really cute. Um, but yeah, so 11 weeks pregnant. At first, I was like, the first symptoms that I had again was like the constipation. I had like, really bad lower back pain and I was like tired and eating a lot. Those were like the first symptoms. And then honestly, like, probably at about like week five or six, I just literally hit a wall with like nausea and fatigue. And honestly, I didn't start feeling better like nausea wise until two days ago, literally two days ago. And it's funny because when I went to the doctor the other day, like the doctor's office, you still have to wear a mask. And he was like, so like, how are you feeling? And I was like, like garbage, to be honest with you. And like the mask made it so much worse. Like I literally just wanted to throw up in my mask. And he's like, well, he's like, you know, now like you are kind of like over the curve. Um, it should start getting better every day. And I was like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Because my mom put the fear of God into me. She's like, you could be nauseous like 
the whole nine months some people are like that and I'm like thanks mom my mom also keeps telling me too she's like you need to tell people because look I have dimples where like I never used to have dimples and I've got like a little chin fat too my mom that's how my mom like knew too because and actually a family member before I announced she noticed too and it's literally just because my face is getting fat which is another reason why I think it's a girl um but yeah so I've been like so from like week five or six to like now I've been super nauseous so what is that like week five to 11 yeah so like just over a month of just like nausea and I tried taking like b6 I've been like living off of ginger ale and honestly just like eating very very high carb like normally like honestly this is like a vacation for me because I've been like crushing donuts bagels mac and cheese just like heavy heavy carbs because if I don't start my day with heavy carbs and like maintain throughout the day oh and muffins too and subway if I don't start with like heavy carbs throughout the day like I mm -mm. one day I was like one day I got like really like uh, being optimistic and I'm like you know what? I'm gonna have like a fit pregnancy like I'm gonna eat exactly the way I used to eat and I had like berries and scrambled eggs for breakfast and I was like I can do this and no it was really bad I was really sick because like I didn't eat any carbs and I was like just shut up just shut up you gotta do what you gotta do like I have to be able to function I have to be able to work I have to be able to be a person um what was the other thing I was gonna say oh subway breaks my heart the only thing I ever get there actually is like a veggie sandwich with bacon like, like a BLT and I put everything in it but I can't get that now because of the nitrates and the bacon so my new subway order actually and it's funny because Carl is so disgusted every time I get this but I do a foot long with the herbs and cheese bread lettuce tomato extra pickles and banana peppers green peppers and extra mayo yeah that actually does sound pretty gross but it's it slaps so good it is so good yeah that kind of brings us to the end of the video um it's just nice to come on here and be like yeah like this is why i haven't posted on youtube because i've been so tired and like not doing anything because i feel like garbage but again i've been starting to feel better and that's also why because like i did start posting like twice a day on tiktok and then like it's been a struggle some days to even get up like one video because on the days that like I feel like garbage like if you have been pregnant before like you know you feel like garbage you feel like garbage <laughs> anyways that is gonna do it I plan on vlogging more now now that the secret is out and that I don't have to like hide anything because it was tough to even just filming TikToks like it was like take the ultrasound photos down off the fridge and like hide the ginger ale cans and like all of the random things all over the place um yeah actually what's really funny let me show you guys actually this is really funny Carly made a comment the other day he's like oh my god like you never buy candy there's candy in the house and he was like loving it and I'm like mm, honey don't get used to it so normally we don't have anything up here I don't normally don't buy cereal notice all the cereal boxes look at that all the popcorn no I don't buy any of this stuff actually ever and there's our little squish I totally think it's a little girl, but I'd be happy with either. Look, and they were moving when they were on the ultrasound. It was so cute. But yeah, so again, we're gonna try and actually end the video now. I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will put my handles down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Can you say bye, buddy? Can you say bye? Bye.